guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying to redo this. Um, it's really a mess at this point. I haven't revamped my bookcase in a really long time, kind of ever since I moved into this room. It's been a while. I have acquired so many books since then, um, and really my tastes have changed. Also, kind of my organizational style has changed. These books are kind of in, like, rainbow order, and I would not do that anymore. I'm going to be having you guys help me redo this bookcase, add all of my new books, and I have to add an entire new shelf. I may have a problem. I have a lot of books, and trying to fit them all on one shelf. I don't really have room for another shelf, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to fix this. Adding another shelf means that I have to shift every single other shelf to make room. I'm going to put it here, but this isn't tall enough for books here and here. It's definitely going to be a process, so we'll see how it works out, but I'm going to kind of go through what my past organizational style was to show you guys how I'm going to be changing it. So I'm not going to show you each shelf because I did a little montage so you guys can see that montage. Okay, so you can see that it's a mess. I'm gonna kind of like explain what's where now. Up here is kind of like, it used to be rainbow order of fiction, but now I've kind of shoved other books in there too. I also have this electrical box that I'm gonna be putting the electronics for my LED lights in. All these are just like random knickknacks that I have collected through my travels and just whatever. So I'm gonna put them away so that I don't like vacuum them up or anything. I have vacuum them before, I have dropped them and broken them before. I need to be more careful with these. Next down here I kind of have like half um, non-fiction and then I started series I guess. I also have like random knickknacks on each shelf, like here's my wand from Harry Potter. That is my bookshelf at the current moment. So I think the first thing to do is to put all of these things away and my like random other things standing in front of my books and I'll probably just put them in a bin for now. Then I need to start taking every book off of the shelf and each book needs to have a good justification why to go back on the shelf so I do need to definitely get rid of some books. Yeah I guess I'm going to do a time lapse for this because this could get long very quickly. So I took all of the books off of most of the shelves and all of my like knickknacks and whatever but I'm gonna leave the books on the bottom shelf because nothing else can fit there anyway and I don't need to move that shelf so it doesn't really matter. I also need to move all my books off of my like little TBR shelf because I think a lot of those are gonna end up here instead. I think the next thing is to move shelves, vacuum them, and then start organizing stuff. I don't really know what categories I'm going to do yet, so I will let you guys know on that. But yeah, I need to start picking up books that I want to get rid of. Here is every single book I own, and it is time to start organizing. The books are just about as organized as they're going to get before they go on the shelf. I kind of have like general ideas of where each thing is going to go but I'm not exactly sure so I'm going to show you guys kind of what each pile is and then I guess it's time to start putting them on the shelf to make sure they fit because I rearranged the shelves and some of them are a little short because the middle shelf is fixed. It might be a little interesting but I guess I might just have to have like a short bookshelf and then taller books so I don't know if all of my organization is going to work exactly for how the shelves are laid out but we'll see. So over there are books that I know I'm getting rid of. Here's kind of like non-fiction, non-fiction, classics. I don't really know where these ones are going. Those are series. That's like Laura Ingalls Wilder and Anne of Green Gables. Um, all of these books I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep them so those are kind of like in the danger zone. Here I have W. Bruce Cameron books. Um, here's all the Twilight series. I don't exactly know about those, so those are gonna get figured out. Um, that's all nonfiction. Here is the Wrinkle in Time series. These are two books from um, Shakespeare and Company. This is all of my Harry Potter books. Um, here's Wendy Mass, John Green. Those, I'm not really sure yet. Those are kind of all mysteries, so maybe 
in a section by themselves. Here is kind of like book talk books, some of my favorite books. And then this is all um, Rick Riordan. So I'm going through this and I don't know what happened. I didn't get rid of, I got rid of maybe 10 books so far and my shelves are so empty. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on if everything's just fitting a lot better, but it kind of looks like I need to get some more books. So maybe that'll be happening soon. But um, mostly the books that I haven't put back yet are the ones that were on my TBR pile that I'm not even sure that I'm going to keep at all. So I need to look through those. But other than that, like I still have an empty shelf. So I'm not sure what happened, but I really like this so far, especially this shelf is my favorite. Other than that though, like I'm not really sure what needs to be done here. So I guess I'm gonna look through um, my TBR books try to get rid of some of those because I know I'm not going to read all of them and then kind of like reevaluate and see what I'm going to do with all this extra space. At this point there is so much empty space on my shelf like I don't know I don't know what happened I've only gotten rid of like 15 books maybe and I just have so much extra room so I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with that I'm going to start putting back all of my knickknacks and see where everything fits um and kind of what I'm working with in terms of extra space. So I kind of had that whole entire shelf here of just like random stuff. I'm not sure how I want to arrange that now. So I think it's all going to get split up into different shelves, which is going to make it a real pain for dusting later on. But that's not for now, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I've got like a whole bunch of stuff to put back here. So I guess I'll just get started. I have to put my makeup down there and then I have some playbills and Nikki ears and candles and my wand and whatever so I'm gonna put that all here um but I think I'm gonna put it here and then surprise you with the final product. I know I said I was done but this has been such an ongoing thing so it is I don't know a couple of months later and my bookshelf has already changed so much. I think it is going to stay this way though. I really love how it looks now. So yeah I'm going to show you guys how it looks now and Hopefully how it's going to stay for a while. This has been really functional for me. I know where everything is. I love how it looks also and I just think this really works out. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks now. Here are my Funko Pops, Anne of Green Gables, Laura Ingalls Wilder, A Wrinkle in Time, Dune, and all of my Rick Riordans, plus um, The Maze Runner. These are all my favorite books slash book talk books, and then classics, mysteries, and some of my old favorite books over here. Then I put my makeup right here. This is all the nonfiction and Hamilton, Mickey ears. Here are a bunch of my knickknacks. Harry Potter. So this shelf changed a lot because I took away Twilight and made this a solely Harry Potter shelf. I have the series and then a couple of the extra books plus um, the night bus and just a bunch of fun Harry Potter stuff. Down here I have Twilight and my Rob Candle in front of it. And here is my Harry Styles cardigan. I thought it looked really nice here. Next, I have all of my magazine collections. On this bottom shelf, I have some yearbooks and then all of my horse books. And then I have this other wicker basket that has a bunch of my guitar stuff. And then I have some guitar music books as well. So that's everything. I just think everything is gonna be so much easier to find now that it's all organized and it's so much more aesthetically pleasing. Not only that, but my room is a lot cleaner now that I have all these books taken care of and I've gotten rid of some. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later. 
Bye.